Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to load the firmware for JA8086 or the ROMs and also how to add new patches and also how to change the standard skin as you can see here on my video. First of all, in my previous video about JE8086 I got a lot of questions about firmware, ROMs, errors, a startup and how to actually make the plugin work. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up the GAE8086 from scratch, what you need, what you don't need, and how you do everything in a legal and safe way. No ROM links, sorry. Again, I cannot provide the links directly here on YouTube, otherwise the video will get banned. It, it already happened in the past. But if you look around, just Google, or if you go to my other video, you will find lots of hints on how to get them. It's just a matter of Googling a little bit. And what JE8086 actually is? The JE8086 is a one-on-one -on -one emulation based on the DSP Motorola 56300 project. It's a common chip used in many old synthesizers of the 2000s and of the 90s. This means it's not a typical virtual analog synth. It actually runs the original DSP code. And because of that, it requires the original firmware in order to work. Without it, the plugin won't start, and that is totally normal. Let me show you what happens if you open the GE8086 for the first time without the firmware installed. So I'm using Sessions here just because it's quicker, and I had already opened the GE. And you can see here you get this no ROM error message and then a device initialization field telling you that the firmware is not found. And if you click on OK, the specific folder for the ROMs will be open. And usually I'm showing you on Mac, uh, this is the same on a PC, it's uh, on document. Then we have the, the usual suspect here under the documents. Then we have JE8086 and then we have ROMs. So basically you only need to copy the ROMs in this folder. So this error is perfectly expected. It doesn't mean that the plugin is broken. It just means that it cannot find the required firmware yet. And again, I cannot show you how to dump firmware or I cannot share the ROMs or private files. This is not allowed on YouTube, but the good news is the required firmware is still officially available today from Roland. So you simply need to copy the ROMs or the ROM in the specific ROMs folder. So in my case, let me just grab it from my download folder and I'm simply drag and dropping it into here. So this is the ROM that you that is needed in order to work this is the jp8000 uh, roms so we can close it now and that's it no installers no cracking no patching and if you now launch the session again and load the je8086 you will see that the plugin will load normally so we have this welcome screen and everything is working normally of course So basically, once the firmware is in the right place, the JE86 boots exactly like the original hardware. At this point, you're ready to use it like any other synth. And whenever you launch the JE886 for the first time with the ROM installed, you can go to the browser, to the patch manager, the patch browser, and you can open the factory uh, patches. And the factory patches, of course, they come from the original firmware. So again, once we have the ROM, you will get all the original patches that are in the original synthesizer. So you can simply click on any performance and change it by just like clicking, clicking on it. And that's it, basically. And again, being a one-on-one -on -one emulation, there's no conversion happening. It's, it's the same data format and the same can apply to additional sound banks that you have uh, you can download from the web and in order to do that it's very simple you go to the browser again you get here to data sources and you simply right click and you can add folders or add single files so if you have additional files like midi files or csx file or any compatible uh, bank sound you can use the add file or if you, if you have multiple files you can also add folders, which is really convenient because you don't need to do that one by one. So I click in here on add folders. I will need to browse here and go into a sound set folder here on my archival. So you see here you have sound sets and you have lots of 
additional bugs in it. Let's click on open. And it will take some time, but it will load all the different patches. Uh, of course, I also have some duplicates. Uh, there's no anti-duplicates function, uh, unfortunately, but you can see here I can click on any any bank, any sound actually. So it's very simple. You simply need to add additional folders. And the last thing I want to show you is how to change skins. And the skins are in the same folder, actually in the same uh, root folder where you have your ROMs. So you can go back to your specific folder. So you see we have ROMs here and we have, of course, skins. And the skins are usually distributed at the moment. They are distributed only on, on the usual Suspect Discord server. Uh, and they are provided by users, so there are user-made additional skin that the community created, so you can log in to their Discord server, which is highly recommended because lots of information are there, and you can download additional skins. And again, the skins are very simple, they are just zip files, so you need to download them, then unzip them, so then simply dragging and dropping different folders of some of the skins that I've downloaded. So you see, we only have some uh, folders. Let me drag another one. Okay, so these are some of the additional skins that are available at the moment for the official release. And you don't need to restart the plugin. You simply right-click on the plugin interface. You see here you have the GUI skin, and this is the default skin, which already which is already really nice, but you can change your skin. So this is a black and uh, green skin we have another rendition with red text we have this one again which i love it i love it. this is the white background and you can see it's really simple you simply click right click and change the skin and then of course you can also change and this is the last one you can also change of course the the gui scale so if we want to have it bigger you can set it to under 50 for example okay now i have to make my session window a little bit bigger so that's it for today i hope this clarifies a little bit of the problems and of the issues that you encounter if you have any comments or any requests please make write it down in in the comments again please don't ask for roms i cannot provide you for the official roms i'm very sorry about that but just google around and you will not it will not be too difficult to find them and if you like this video and if you find the video instructional and interesting please like subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to stay informed so see you and happy new year because today is the, the last day of the year and have a nice 2026 with JA8086. Bye bye and see you.